Give me what I want and I'll go away. From Stephen King, the master of your worst fears, comes a high voltage, spine tingling shocker that's been called one of the best King films ever. You wouldn't think there was a big storm coming, would you? Trouble don't cross the reach, ain't that why we live here? Still, they say this one's gonna be something special. A small island off the coast of Maine is bracing for the storm of the century. Look at this. Now, if neither of the emergency shelter setup can handle 300 for three days. Look at there, the mainland. Can't even see the reach no more. At the heart of the storm is a source of evil that will change their lives forever. Born in sin. Come on in. My God. That's all right, Robbie. She's waiting for you in hell. Who are you? Give me what I want, and I'll go away. What's your name? Andre Linoge. He was looking at him like a snake, looking at a bird. What are you doing, sir? You mind telling me? You have something to do with that? Give me what I want, and I'll go away. You refuse me, and I assure you, I can punish. We couldn't kill him. I don't think he's human. What could he possibly want? He's the devil! Don't let him near me. What do you want, Lenoge? That's right. Come on, Ralphie. Never. I don't think we have a choice. Discuss it. Then choose. Don't let him take my son! Storm of the Century. My name is Michael Anderson, and I'm not what you'd call a Rhodes Scholar. I don't have much in the way of philosophy either, but I know one thing. In this world, you have to pay as you go. Sometimes, all you have. That's a lesson I thought I learned nine years ago during what folks in these parts call the storm of the century. But I was wrong. I only started learning during the big blow. I finished just last week. I grew up in Maine. But in a way, I never really lived in Maine. I think anyone from my part of the world would say the same. Folks from Little Tall sent their taxes to Augusta, same as other folks. And we got either a lobster or a loon on our license plate, same as other folks. We root for the University of Maine's team, especially the women's basketball team, same as other folks. Hey, Sonny, you forgot one. One for the pot, good luck. Better double it, Sonny. That weatherman said it's coming on. Seen him come in every winter. They howl in, they howl out. July always comes. Still, they say this one's gonna be something special. But we ain't the same. Life out on the islands is different. We pull together when we have to. We'll get through her. Yeah, like always. When you mind the swell, you mind the boat. But with a Frenchman like you know, Daniel. <laughs> and we can keep a secret when we have to. We kept our share back in 1989. And the people who live there keep them still. I know. I stay in touch. Thank 
him out. You're welcome. Hey, Mrs. Kingsbury. Well, uh, I've got all my canned goods now. <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't think there was a big storm coming, would you? I just pray we don't lose the power. Radio says it's gonna snow a bit. Oh, easy, Ferd. It's just a cap of snow. <sighs> Trouble don't cross the reach. Ain't that why we live here? Yeah. Well, we get in trouble, we're in trouble. is across the Great Plains in the Midwest. And you see its track before you in all its glory. Now look down here because, folks, here comes trouble. This is a very atypical storm, almost a winter hurricane. It's the sort of knuckle duster that paralyzed most of the East Coast and buried Boston back in 1976. The first person on Little Tall to see Andre Linoge was Martha Clarendon. also the last person she ever saw. 